This seemed like one of those stories I would crank out on the plane back from Tenerife, where Audi was launching its new RSQ8 high-performance SUV. Audi shares the MLB platform with the extant Lamborghini Urus, slaps on some blocky sheet metal and adds a Bauhaus meets Apple interior to differentiate, and boom, enter the Audi IZED Lambo. Platform engineering job done. Problem. The 2021 Audi RS Q8 drives nothing like a Lamborghini Urus, which was a strong contender in our 2019 best driver's car. In fact, I would defy you to find anything about the Audi's driving manners, engine note, shift patterns, steering and braking, interior layout, and obviously its design and styling that would conjure thoughts of its Italian affiliate. Does it drive better than an Urus? I guess that depends on the type of driver you are, and the depth of your pocketbook, as the Lambo is upward of $100,000 more than Ingolstadt's edition. Oh, sure, the Audi R&D team confesses that during development of the RSQ8, they Skyped and Zoomed and Slacked with their Lamborghini compatriots. You have to, when you are sharing a platform and borrowing parts. But in the annals of VW Group platform sharing, this might be a best example yet of product differentiation. In fact, the RSQ8 seems to have more familiarity with Audi's 6 rupees wagon than the Urus. It's same sausage, different shapes in this corner of the Audi Delicatessen. We wanted the RSQ8 to have the outstanding performance of a supercar plus everyday usability, said Michael Barma, Audi Technical Project Manager. Sure, there's some overlap with Lamborghini, but we went in a different direction. The powertrain and suspension are uniquely RS spec. Some things you have to keep hidden from your Italian cousins, after all. Besides, Audi isn't out to beat Lamborghini, after all. It wants to throttle the BMW X6M and Mercedes AMG GLE 63. Can the Audi match the Urus 3.0 second 0 to 60? Likely not, even with the optional Pirelli P0s coming next summer. Audi suggests a 3.8 second dash to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, is routine, so in upcoming motor trend testing you could expect perhaps a 3.5 second rip to 60. Does that mean that RSQ8 is slower than the Lambo? Uh, no a few months back, the Audi Sport unit ran the RSQ8 to a 742.253 SUV record lap of the Nürburgring Norschleife with racer tester Frank Stippler at the wheel. Consider this SUV as fast as a Ferrari 458 or Porsche 997. A side note, while Germans aren't known for bragging, Stippler stated he could have shaved another 4 or 5 seconds off his time if not for intermittent ground fog and patchy wet spots on the German track from earlier rain. Stippler also had dashed from a qualifying session at Hockenheim to put in his fast lap at Nürburgring, so he was a bit distracted. So, before anyone's SUV takes a shot at the record, your target should be more in the 738 range, or else Audi will be back to reclaim the title. And all this with an engine that is, relatively speaking, down on power compared to the Lambo. While the Urus 4.0 liter V8 makes 641 horsepower, the Audi 2 twin scroll turbocharger version makes a more modest 590 horsepower. Not that any ordinary American driver will notice. Of course, it depends on what kind of racetrack you are testing at. Barma notes that the Urus will perform better on a flatter, more F1-style track, whereas the RSQ8 performs better on rolling, climbing tracks. What about Johnny Lieberman's assertion that the 6 rupees is a better driver than the RSQ8? The 6 rupees is sportier, with a more performance base, and a lower center of gravity, Barma admits, noting the 6 rupees carries 200 kilograms, 440 pounds, less weight. Guess that's one point for the wagon, until you need to haul a lot of stuff. I mean, there are practical concerns when buying a racetrack-ready SUV, and the RSQ8 has 30.5 cubic feet of hatch storage, and 60.7 cubes if the second row seats are down. Track talk aside, usability is key too. Audi and Lamborghini also took far different directions in design. Think R8 versus Huracan, but with SUVs, said Audi project manager Marcus Eberle. The Urus is a brutal, lithe wedge, a raised supercar, whereas the RSQ8 carries a blockier linebacker stance that indicates this was always meant to come from a donor SUV. Part of that muscularity comes from carrying 10mm in, more width at the front wheels and 5mm in, at the back compared to a standard Q8. 
Some folks wanted the RSQ8 to go wider still, but Barma notes the base Q8 is already pretty hefty. Those added mere millimeters of width means he gets nervous driving in the left lane of an Autobahn construction zone. In the arms race of creating the most massive grill possible, the RSQ8 not only has a gaping maw but also features massive air intakes. It makes an intimidating impression in the rear view mirror, but until you see the honeycomb detailing, it just looks like a giant black hole at the front of the car.